Sports Listening Tips and Tricks. In this video, I am going to tell you about IELTS listening. First of all, you need to see that the first module of IELTS, when you go to take your IELTS test, your first subtest is going to be listening subtest. Now, uh, in this video, I am going to give you the tips and tricks for IELTS listening. I am going to explain the type of test and obviously these tips are going to develop a good understanding of IELTS and if you have good understanding of IELTS definitely you can get a very good band score in IELTS. Uh, first of all we are going to see the types of listening. Uh, let me just tell you uh, we are listening for global or general information. For example whenever you watch movies or uh, you watch uh, news you are listening for global or general information IELTS listening is listening for main ideas specific information supporting information facts and opinions so you got to keep this in mind uh, because you know sometimes you say I watch TV and every day I watch TV and I watch English channels so it means my listening is so good uh, it's not basically only the TV channels they are going to help you because it should be listening for a very specific content note IELTS listening test is same for gender training and academic as in the interview I told you we have two types of IELTS one is academic IELTS and second is gender training IELTS so listening is same for both academic and gender training. The candidates of academic and gender training, they sit together in the same hall to take their listening test. Now, in IELTS listening, we have four sections. And these four sections are section one, section two, section three, and section four. You know it already, very good, all right. So there are four sections in IELTS listening and uh, 10 questions in each section. So it means if there are four sections, 10 questions in, in each section, there are going to be 40 questions. Level of difficulty increases by each section. Here what I mean is level, uh, the section number one, it's the basic level. Section number two, it's a little, uh, you can say intermediate level. Then section three, upper inter intermediate level. And then we have section four, which is actually the advanced level. So the level of difficulty is going to increase gradually with the sections. All the audios are played once only. So this is, uh, you got to be very, very careful here. They will not repeat the audio second time. All the audios will be played just once. So all you need to do, you have to listen to the audios very carefully and answer all the questions because the audios will not repeat. Uh, time is given to read the questions and to check your answers. Now what will happen before the exam starts, the invigilators will be around you. They will give you some of the question papers or the question booklet, right? So on the question booklet, there will be the questions like multiple choice questions. I'm going to tell you about the questions as well. All you need to do, you have to read the questions. For example, the audio will go like, you now have some time to look at questions one to five. This is their typical style I'm trying to copy. Anyways, they are going to give you some time to read the questions. And in section one and two and even three, the time will be given to read the questions in the middle as well. And let me tell you, your understanding of the questions is going to make sure you will find the answer. If you don't understand the question, you cannot find the answer. I'll discuss that in detail later. At the end of each section, they will give you some time to check your answer. See, sometimes you're confused about the spelling because when the audio is going on, you cannot ponder, you cannot stop there. So at the end of each section, they will say, you now have some time to check your answers. So you will check your answers and you'll be given around 20, 30 seconds for that. And this time will be given in every section, section one, two, three, and four. Gotcha? All right, you'll be confused. What's the meaning of gotcha? Gotcha means understand. Gotcha? And the answer is also gotcha. Lovely. Let's go on. Uh, at the end of IELTS listening test, 10 minutes will be given to transfer your answers. Now, what happens? They will give you a question booklet. They're going to give you a question booklet. In the question booklet, and the audio will start. 
and you will be listening to the audio and writing your answers down on the question booklet with the question booklet they will give you an answer sheet now there are 40 questions I just told you so what you're going to do at the end of IELTS listening the audio will go like that is the end of IELTS listening you now have some time to transfer your answers to the answer sheet and you'll be having the answer sheet already now on the question booklet where you wrote answer of question number one on the answer sheet you will write there uh, the answer of question number one this is how you're going to transfer all the 40 answers from the question booklet to the answer sheet there is a warning for you here the examiner is not going to check the question booklet the examiner is only going to check the answer sheet so if you do not transfer your answer answers from the question booklet to the answer sheet you know very well what will happen I don't need to tell you your answer should not contain more than three words now this is very very important rule for IELTS listening and the same rule applies for IELTS uh, and the same rule applies on IELTS uh, reading as well your answer should not exceed three words uh, they can be one word answer they can be two word answer they can be three word answer they can be a number for your answer they can be the color for your answer they can be the date but you're not supposed to write more than three words because if you write three words I mean the three word answer maximum it can be two word it can be one word but if you write the fourth word even if the three words are correct they will be considered wrong right so don't, don't write more than three words the questions and the audio will be in the same order as you are listening so the answer of question number one uh, will come first then the question number two answer will come so they are all in order audio and the questions they are all in order so you don't have to worry about it all you need to do you have to keep track with the audio and with your question booklet so if you are on question number three when the audio reaches question number three you write your answer down right so you got to be very very careful keeping track with the audio is very important for IELTS Uh, now I'm going to tell you four speech styles as I told you before there are four sections in IELTS listening and the level of difficulty increases in each section this time I'm going to tell you what type of speech what type of dialogues are going to be there so we have four speech styles for all these four sections in section one there will be a social or a transactional dialogue and there will be two speakers usually what happens one person will be inquiring some information and the second person will be giving information right and your answers or your questions are going to be related to uh, the person who is giving information or who is inquiring information this is a very common question in section one that they might, uh, might give you a phone number a letter for example my name is John Smith that's S M I T H Smith so your answer is going to be S M I T H Smith section 1 is actually the easiest one so the dialogues in section 1 the, that is the conversation and this is the conversation between two people at times they can be two students at times they can be a student or a property dealer who is giving some information about the house a student wants to rent so there can be any any dialogue like that and this is for section one gotcha mm-hmm good section two a topic or short speech or a general topic and again here in section two there can be uh, one two or uh, one or two speakers right uh, now I tell you one thing in section two the level of difficulty is going to increase a little it is not going to be very very difficult but it's going to be a little more difficult than section one but still there can be a dialogue there can be a speaker giving information talking about something and your answers are going to be there and remember throughout IELTS listening your answers should not exceed three words and they count every word even article a and the is also counted so you gotta be very careful about that section three in section three of your IELTS listening there is going to be a conversation in an academic context now there will be a con uh, conversation in an academic context uh, for example there can be a professor and there are two or th three students now the professor and the students they're having a tutorial you know tutorial yes tutorial is a group meeting with your teacher with your professor so there's going to be a tutorial where they are discussing about a project they did in the past or a project they're going to do in 
the future that's going to be section 3 and again the level of difficulty section 1 here section 2 here and section 3 here that's right and then we have section 4 and in section 4 we've got an academic lecture now let me tell you one thing section 4 is supposed to be the most difficult one and uh, at times you know students complain that section 4 is very very fast and it's difficult for them to understand and at times you know it flies over their head but it's not going to fly over your head it will fly right inside your head so in section 4 what happens it's an academic lecture one speaker will be talking and there will be four five people who will be listening for example they will say uh, this afternoon lecture is about study skills and I am delighted to invite professor John Smith to be here and to give a lecture about study skills now then the professor will come and he will start talking and here in the beginning they will give you the time to read the questions but then in the middle they will not give you any time to read the questions right so you gotta be very very careful read all the questions questions 31 to 40 and then the on uh, then the audio will start and you got to find the answer and then in the middle there will not be any break with that question types now I'm going to tell you what type of questions are going to be there in listening. There are going to be various uh, types of questions rather I would say there are going to be different sets of questions in your IELTS listening. So the first one is multiple choice. Now what is multiple choice? You're already familiar with that. In multiple choice you will be given uh, three options or rather four options and out of these three to four options one option will be right and this usually happens in uh, section three sometimes but mostly in section four so multiple choice is where a statement is given and down there there are three to four options you must read the statement carefully as well as the questions which are as well as the options which are given down there because you know uh, you have to listen to the audio and then see out of three or four options which answer or which option is the right option then we have short answer question there will be a question uh, where did Scott go now where did Scott go this is the short answer question and the answer can be Glasgow the answer can be London the answer can be Ukraine right so this is the short answer question again read the question and when you are reading the question reading the question is a skill in itself basically uh, the question is going to tell you how can you find the answer so when you read the question read it very carefully and at the end of each question ask yourself a question what's that simple ask yourself a question what can be the answer now for example if the question is uh, what's the date of birth now what's the answer a date of birth it means a date the answer is a date and if the question is uh, when did the outbreak start now if it is when did the outbreak start means again when when means time uh, how many years ago how many months ago and all that uh, so you need to read the question and after reading the question ask yourself what will take to answer this question that's the short answer question then we then we have sentence completion half of the sentence will be given and all you need to do you got to find the remaining half of the answer that's going to be sentence completion next question type is notes diagram flowchart completion now what is going to happen there uh, notes diagrams flowcharts will be given and you got to complete them uh, in case for example uh, in section 3 or in section 2 as well at times they give you a diagram now this diagram is basically a map and it can be a map of a city it can be the map of a of a small town it can be the map of a university or it can be the interior to any area right so all you need to do in that uh, area in that interior you got to just see what information is given and what information is missing always remember the given information will help you keep track with the uh, keep track of the missing information so just read what is given and then see what is missing and where it is now for instance they will give you a diagram in the diagram it will be mentioned hotel library 
common room and all that stuff and then few places the the boxes will be there but the names of the places will be missing and there the question number will be written now the most important thing is when the audio starts you got to put your pen where actually the audio starts if they say uh, all right from here you enter and on your right you will find the library go to the library on the diagram just put the pen on the diagram if you go straight from the library so all you need to do as the audio is going on you've got to put your pen accordingly and this will help you they can tell you in front of the library there is the students common room now see in front of the library there is a box and question number three written they write there immediately students common room so this is how you can uh, find the answer of the diagram again if there is uh, another diagram where there are certain processes and all that you can easily find the answer uh, i'm telling you the key to success is read the given information and use the given information to fish out the information which is missing and you can easily do that uh, the next one is matching uh, you'll be given uh, some half statements and you got to match them with the other half of the statements this comes in listening as well and then we've got another type which is classification remember one thing it is not necessary that in one IELTS test they're going to give all these type of questions because if they give you any type of question uh, one of them it we, we basically call it the set of questions so whatever they're going to give you whatever set of questions it is going to be there are going to be four or five questions in one set for example multiple choice there are going to be four or five questions of multiple choice in the same list we call it a set of questions short answer questions again it's going to be a complete set of four to five questions and you can easily find it now what I'm going to tell you this time it's very very important for you we call it pre listening tips I'm going to give you uh, basically two or three types of tips one is pre listening means before the listening test starts and then during listening what you have to do and then after listening what you have to do let me tell you one thing for many of us listening is a problem why do we think listening is a problem because we don't listen to English quite a lot and even if we listen to English we listen to local English of our country right so the problem problem starts when we have to listen to the English of native speakers of English language right so when you listen to the English of native speakers at times you don't seem to understand what they are saying all you need to do you have to stay focused right but pre listening tips first of all practice to improve your listening how can you practice if you're watching television if you are listening to the radio try to prefer English channels actually you know what happens your ears they must be tuned in for instance if I listen to any piece of music in my native language I understand I enjoy it either rock and roll right because that's uh, uh, my native native music and I understand that and if somebody plays for example I don't know Chinese and if somebody plays Chinese music in front of me after 10 minutes I will have a headache I will say what's that I don't seem to understand anything from there so basically my ears are not tuned into Chinese language that's why I won't be able to understand same is the case for many of us at times you know what happens when English is played right after 10 minutes you say oh my god I don't understand anything I have a headache right so all you need to do practice to improve your listening skill and tune your ears be familiar with different dialects of English that is British American Australian Canadian Irish Scottish African and non-native accents and dialects of English language usually there is a misconception uh, people think that IELTS means British English no 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 that's wrong IELTS doesn't mean British English only right although IELTS is from Cambridge University but uh, it does not have only British English in listening there can be any dialect of English language in IELTS as I told you about all these Englishes so what you need to do you got to be familiar with various accents or dialects of English language remember one thing although in IELTS we are going to have American English British English Australian English Canadian English but there is one thing all of these dialects would be different but the language is going to be same that is going to be standard English understood 
all over the world right so you don't have to that is going to be standard English which is understood all over the world so it doesn't mean if uh, there is a dialogue in IELTS and that's in American English and they're going to use the American uh, slangs there absolutely not the language is going to be standard language although uh, there can be there can be the variations in dialect right so you need to get used to it and by the way it doesn't matter see sometimes what do I do I play an audio in the class and I ask my students okay students tell me was it British or American accent and they think for a minute and after a minute say sir uh, I think it's American and then I say excuse me it was Australian <laughs> right so they don't actually understand so let me tell you English is going to be same dialects can be different doesn't matter about that listen to the audios with the transcript in hand very useful tip and I'm going to help you out see I told you language is same but how they speak the language that's entirely different now for example uh, anyone from Britain is going to say what are you going to do anyone uh, from America will say what you're gonna do what you're gonna do now you say oh, what is the watcher what is watcher watcher is nothing watcher is just like gotcha as I told you okay so the English language so English language is same but the dialects are going to be different all you need to do you have to listen to the audios with the transcript where transcript means what they speak it's written right and you can find the transcript as I told you about uh, IELTS books we've got uh, Cam uh, we've got uh, Cambridge IELTS book 5 book 6 book 3 book 4 they're gonna help you as well there at the end of the book they have given the transcript of the audios do one thing play the audio right and after that hold the book in your hand and finger the transcript right this will help you understand English language and this will help you clearly understand various dialects of English language right use your imagination to understand the dialogues better as I told you in section 1 and in section 2 there are going to be the dialogues. so all you need to do you have to use your imagination and uh, when they start section 1 they will tell you for example in, before section 1 they will say you're going to he you're going to hear a conversation between the two students like they will give you this information so whatever it's going to be all you need to do you need to switch on your imagination all right there's going to be a conversation between two students so imagine visualize two students talking to each other this will help you understand same as they can say there is going to be a conversation between a traveler and the passenger agent now you can understand the scenario is it's going to be a scene at the airport and there is one passenger there is this so you can easily understand and you can if you visualize you can easily do it right so when you are there imagine the dialogue now it doesn't mean you start imagining and you stop doing your eyes listening it's not that you say I am imagining I am imagining not like that it's just a little visualization for a better understanding right gotcha mm hmm good job underline the keywords with pencil now what is going to happen over there they are going to give you the question booklet and as I told you before uh, before they start the test they are going to give you some time to read the questions so all you need to do you can have a pencil in your hand and underline or encircle the keywords now listen uh, when you're doing IELTS listening you're doing three things together all together three things what three things are you doing at the same time you are listening at the same time you are reading and at the same time you are writing so you should have the ability to listen read and write because you know you have to read which answer is going to come now you've got to read the question you've got to listen so that you keep track so that, so that you could connect the listening audio with with the question and then you got to write the answer so have an ability to do that and there you can underline the keywords now how will keywords help you you don't need to read the complete question just read the keywords and there you are when those keywords come in any context in the audio see the bells will be ringing answers coming answers coming answers coming right and then you can just find the answer and you can write it down use the time wisely to read the questions and check your answers this is very important point here uh, basically you know 
in IELTS listening, you have to manage your time very wisely. As I told you, before each section, they're going to give you the time, right? So you need to spend this time very wisely reading all the questions. If they say, you now have some time to look at questions 1 to 5, now only look at questions 1 to 5. Don't say, all right, I've got plenty of time, I'll read questions 1 to 10. They will give you more time. In the middle, they will say, you now have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. So at that time, you can read the questions 6 to 10. So this is the first thing. Uh, second important point is, in the beginning of your IELTS test, there's going to be a long recording. Cambridge IELTS by the University of Cambridge ESOL examination. All the recordings are copyright. There are going to be four sections and you will be given some time to read the questions and to check your answers. All the recordings will be played once only, like that, okay? Do I copy well? <laughs> all right. So all these audios are going to go on like that. Now you see some lazy students will be listening and enjoying, all right. Cambridge University test, okay, I didn't know that. Oh, all the recordings will be played once, uh-huh, they'll be listening. But the wise students, you know what are they going to do? They will jump to section number four and there they will read all the questions because this time about Cambridge University IELTS and all that stuff, this time is going to be around 40-50 seconds. So what you need to do, you have to read the questions of section number four because there you will be given only 30 seconds to read 10 questions and the speed of the audio is also fast. If you develop good understanding of those questions, you can easily do it. So there is no problem. You can use your time very wisely. And one more thing, at the end of each section, they will say, you now have some time to check your answers. Now this time, if you think all the answers you've written and you are sure there is nothing to change about those answers, then you better move on to the next section. Don't just waste your time that you're waiting for the audio, that in the audio they say, section two, you got to go on, nobody is going to stop you. Remember, reading the questions, understanding the questions, that is going to ensure that you will find their answers as well. while listening tips. This time I'm going to give you some tips which are going to help you in the IELTS examination. Now see I gave you the tips before going to the examination room and you can use those tips quite successfully. Now you are in the examination room and these tips are going to help you a lot and if you watch this video very carefully you will be sitting in your IELTS exam and my words, my voice will be echoing in your ears that my teacher told me all these things. All right. Anyway, let's take a start by listening tips. First of all, tune your ears with the audio. Uh, if you take your eyes from uh, British Council, they are actually going to give you the headphones for listening. And believe me, because of the headphones, the voice is so clear and there is no noise around. So this might help you a lot and you can have very clear understanding. On the other hand, in Pakistan, uh, we have another body that is conducting IELTS test. That is Australian Education Office, AEO. Uh, but unfortunately, at the moment, AEO is not providing the headphones. Although they have the open speaker sound system, still that sound system is good, no problem. But let me tell you, headphones are the headphones. They've got very clear voice. You can easily understand and you can uh, find the answers. Uh, at times, you know, what happens once one of my students took the IELTS test in the classroom I play audios in open speakers and when she went to take actual IELTS test at the British Council and there she was given the headphones and the voice was so clear she got a very good band score in listening even beyond my expectation anyways tune your ears with the audio and it will take some time see when you go there just put the headphone on your ears and then they will start the audios and then they will be the test audios as well. So all you need to do, you need to listen to those test audios to tune your ears in. Tune your ears in means that you start understanding and then gradually you will go on with it. Use the examples at the beginning of the first section to familiarize yourself with the sound, the situation and the speakers. In section one, they're going to play an example audio. 
and uh, they will play an audio and then there will be two speakers talking right and one is giving information or whatever it's going to be then they are going to say and 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 one question will be solved the example question right so this is just to tell you how you have to do it so this short conversation taken from the uh, taken from the dialogue of section one you got to listen to it very carefully so that you visualize all right what am i going to anticipate in this dialogue it will again help you with your understanding follow the follow the questions and statements given to keep track with the audio so all you need to do read the questions underline the keywords and encircle even at times you can encircle the keywords so that you keep track now for example if you if you have just written down the answer of question one now move on to question two and the audio is also moving on then move on to question three and the audio is also moving on remember one thing you and the audio they should go together i mean if you are on question number two and the audio is on question number three then what will happen huh the blood pressure increase or decrease whatever because you're gonna pay good amount of money to take IELTS test right so if the audio is in question number one do question number one if the audio is in question number two you should be there if the audio is in question number three you should be there as well right this is this is really very very important otherwise you will miss all the questions and remember if you miss one answer right then you're going to be a uh, really heartbroken you're going to be very much worried about it and you're going to be nervous about it as well uh, one more thing if you miss any question leave it come on to the next question because if you're going to stop there what could be the answer what was the answer if you start thinking you will miss the next question as well follow the instructions very carefully uh, when you go to take IELTS test there will be invigilators and then before they actually start IELTS test they are going to give you instructions for 10 to 15 minutes they will give you instructions how to fill in the answer sheet they will give you the answer sheet they will give you write your name down on the answer sheet do this do this do that then they will tell you about the whole test then they are going to tell you about listening so they are going to give you a lot of instructions one thing you must follow the instructions given by the examiner in IELTS examination room secondly the instructions which are given in the audio you must follow these instructions as well so both instructions are going to be very very important for you and you gotta follow them very carefully develop the skill to read write and listen at the same time now for example I am looking at you I should have the ability at the same time to look down and read as well it means I have two abilities speaking and reading at the same time when you're doing IELTS listening you have to develop the ability to listen to the audio to read the questions and to write the answer right so of course it sounds difficult that how would I listen read write together so it's not going to happen all together I mean for example you were reading the question on the question booklet suddenly you heard the audio and the answer came now you will write the answer and then immediately you're going to move on to the next question and as I told you before you are not going to write more than three words I think it should not take more than three seconds or four seconds to write three words because your answers are not going to exceed three words right so you can develop this skill as well use pauses to prepare for the next set of questions at times you know what happens they don't uh, say you now have some time to look ahead they just there is a natural pause in the audio the audio goes on and then the conversation stops for a, for a while right and some people in the IELTS exam they will start looking here and there hey the audio system went out of order actually it's not like that they check and recheck their audio system many times what actually happens over there at that time there are the pauses the natural pauses between the conversation so if there is a pause instead of looking here and there up and down just read the questions because your understanding of the questions is very very important for you when the time to read questions terminates stop reading immediately and begin to listen now they will say you now have some time to look at questions 11 to 16 now you're reading 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 and now they say 
Now listen to the conversation and answer questions 11 to 16. Now some of you will be still reading. Don't read that. At this point, come and put your pen on question number 11 because now the audio has started. So when they say, uh, now move on to question number 11 to 16, so you got to just start with that. So when the time to read question terminates, stop reading immediately and begin to listen. Don't leave blanks because there is no negative marking. All right. So for example, if you could not find the answer and uh, don't try to look here and there because in IELTS, they are very, very strict. In one exam room, there are going to be many invigilators. They'll be moving all around you. So you have no chance to look here or you have no chance to look there and you will not be able to find any answer, right? If any answer is missed by you, just guess, read the statement and in the context see what can be fixed. Maybe if you are lucky like me, then maybe your answer can be correct and if you are not lucky that day, doesn't matter. The other answers you are going to write over there. But there is no negative marking. For example, if you wrote one wrong answer, they will only cross it. They will not mark it negatively. Alright? Good. Don't waste your time in checking your answers if you are sure about them instead read on now what will happen i mean uh, you will have to check your answers too so don't uh, waste your time if you think you checked your answers and you still have some time so read ahead don't just stop there because there is no restriction you can move on to any page of the question booklet whenever you want to now for instance they give you 30 second time to check your answers and you just went through the answer and you realized that okay all my answers are correct no problem Right? So then you need to move ahead. All right? Don't stop at this point. Don't rush to jot down your answer. Wait for the answer to come in the audio. Uh, actually, in IELTS listening, what happens at times, there are certain traps as well because they check your understanding. Right? For example, if uh, there is a conversation, it goes like, the tuition fees are $20 a month. Now you write $20 a month and then the speaker says again, oh, excuse me, uh, just today they increased that. I'm sorry, it's $25 a month. Now what will be the correct answer? $20 or $25? Mm-hmm, $25. So that's, don't just hurry to write down the answers. And even if you write down the wrong answer, cross it and write it again. Doesn't matter because you know, that question booklet is going to go in the bin they are going to check your answer sheets. You got to be careful about the answer sheet. Keep two questions in mind while listening. Now what you need to do as you read the questions, you got to keep two questions in mind while you are listening. For instance, you can have uh, question number one and two in mind, question number three and four in mind, question number five and six in mind. In case if you miss one question, you can easily catch on with the other one, right? So when you're uh, listening, listen for two questions and I think this is going to help you a lot. In third and fourth section, learn to distinguish between opinion from fact because you know the questions there are very tricky. Section four is the most difficult one. So in section four, the question questions are really very much tricky so what you need to do there you have to first read all the questions very very carefully and after reading all the questions very very carefully then when the answer comes you got to see see sometimes the question will be about an opinion and the statement is going to be about a fact so if you take opinion as a fact or fact as an opinion then again your answer is not going to be considered correct so you got to be very careful you must know what is an opinion and what is a fact for example uh, in my opinion the price the prices are increasing rapidly or it's a proven fact by the statistics department that the prices have increased a lot now see that was the opinion and this was the fact so you must learn to distinguish between opinion and the fact now we are going to discuss some problems during listening because you know as you are listening to the audio and the English is not your native language as well that's why you're taking IELTS test and the native speakers of English cannot take IELTS test it's only for the non-native uh, the first problem is getting lost getting lost means you are on the question booklet and you are on question number one 
and the audio has reached question number three or you are on question number five and the audio is still on question number two it means you got lost so getting lost is a common problem let me tell you how can you overcome this problem uh, the main thing is first of all read the question read the questions very very carefully and after reading the questions underline the keywords because these keywords are going to help you to keep the track with the audio once you do it then if you know they are talking about the prices question number one is about prices they're talking about the telephone number question number two is about telephone number so once you're going to do it again you will not be lost and you will find all the answers second there are certain letters which are quite confusing so be careful of the letters and numbers that sound similar like a h eight right see that they sound similar a h eight or c or g or w or double o or double e because they almost sound similar 80 18 30 13 and there are certain spellings uh, which are confusing so you got to learn them so that you could do it very successfully uh, thank you very much all you need to do you have to follow all these tips and tricks and don't be afraid of listening I've given you the tips and uh, in the demonstration lecture I'm going to tell you how to read the questions and then we'll play the audio and how to find the answers all these tips are going to enable you take your IELTS test good luck